Building champions in Raid Shadow Legends is not easy. I'm one of those players that has reached level 90 and I've been playing every day since the game has launched. With all those battles fought, I have a decent understanding on how to build certain champions and with my resource management efficiency approach and budget builds in mind, I want to share what my champions looked like after all this time in 2021. But before I get to that, here's a quick reminder on how you can support this channel for full-time content creation. I do do play other gotcha games, for example, a Summoner's Glory, the only game that I know where you can actually help other players summon to get better drops. You can enter the promo code BGE during character creation to get free in-game loot. Or this other game that I can afford to play every day, and this one really feels like a mobile game because you have instant battles. You can enter the promo code Bionic before level 15 to get free in-game loot. All download links will be in the description and comment section. The next champion on our list is Lydia. She is absolutely amazing. The second biggest prize in the game, in fact, and we really like her because of this skill right here. Decrease defense, weaken 100% chance on all enemies. She is void, therefore you cannot get a weak hit. So as long as you have enough accuracy, you still only have a 97% chance for this to be applied. On top of that, you get two buffs with this skill. Then you also have a block cooldown skills here. The passive, which will ignore the block revive. She'll revive champions or herself if she's already dead. You have a fear on the A1. And of course, you also have one of the best resistance aura in the game 100. So this champion will be the next on the list of my short guides, which is also available on the Google spreadsheets. Here's a quick recap of the stats, but we'll go over that in a second. First, let's go over her usefulness in dungeons. The second you you get her kind of like Arbiter, things are going to change. If you have Seer and Renegade on top of this and a few other key champions, you can hit all of these speed runs. And this is probably one of the biggest goal on any account to be able to hit these kind of speeds for farming dungeons. It makes a tremendous difference on your amount of play time because let's face it, there's sometimes a little bit too many things to do in this game. So this is a Dragon's Lair stage 20 with two Royal Guards for the Fire Knight. Same concept, but instead we have have two uh, cold hearts. Then we have for the ice golem, you kind of need Septimus and Gurptuck for this to work. And finally, for the spider, you kind of also need Gurptuck and Battle Kazar for this to work. Septimus as well. And I do have one of the same royal guards from the dragon 20 dungeon in there and by the way if you guys want a full breakdown of all those dungeon runs these videos are available on a playlist on my youtube channel it's called raid shadow legends bge's dungeon builds we kind of go over my really fast dungeon builds as well as a couple of other older builds that i had before kind of like my 100 success rate uh speed runs or uh, when i got arbiter which i talked about the previous time so make sure you go check those out if you want a little bit more information the next place i use lydia all all the time is obviously the doom tower and you'll see that my order of importance is a little bit different than arbiter and i'll get back to that in a second but basically all the floors literally all the floors between the bosses use the same same team on my account and up until maybe floor 100 here or so maybe 99 ish i can auto with this team all right so i will spend a little bit more time on this eventually but lydia is in there the same way she is geared for all those dungeons she is the same for these um doom tower floors and and also some of the boss floors she's also in there some of the bosses i don't farm i don't really care about coming up with a better build i always just focus on one of them and that is let's say the team i am going to spend a little bit more time trying to tune but for example lydia is not in the celestial griffin team which is the one i'm currently farming in this rotation but now on to the arena where lydia is not currently in my classic arena team sounds a little bit weird it's just because i don't really need her for farming class Classic arena i've been using this team here forever i kind of like the synergy in it and i've never really lost a tremendous amount of battles on the offense while not using lydia but lydia is really really important however for the tag arena so that is why i'm putting the arena as a third on the list of importance for what i do with her in terms of specifically this right so my teams are um 
a little bit of mix and match it might change here and there every once in a while but overall she is a lead her aura is so fantastic and much like arbiter you kind of want her to be in the lead because you can maximize on that extra resistance especially if you have a team of very high resistance champions now this is not exactly always the teams that i'm running i might switch this around a little bit but it's just to give you guys an example that while being really fast and with the stats you'll see today she's actually really good as a leader so now on to her gear which as you can see is three sets of speed because number one thing if you want to do those speed runs in the dungeons you will have to hit a specific amount of speed and uh this is about 296 for me it's pretty much at the top of that range that you need you might be able to get around with using a little bit less but because i use her also as a leader in tag arena i kind of want her to be as fast as possible so i can sometimes beat those other speedy champions you know what i mean so uh these are the total stats but first let's go over these individual pieces number one all about the speed then i'm looking for accuracy and resistance and that has to do with the doom tower again i don't have a reliable block debuffs champion i do have brogni now so it might change a little bit but with the team that you saw in the doom tower i need high accuracy and high resistance if i don't want her to get frozen all the time against all those waves with torments we have defense percent for the gloves we then have a resistance chest piece and we have speed boots as for the ring we have defense the amulet we have hp it just had a good amount of accuracy and resistance and then for the banner we have accuracy you're kind of seeing the concept here of doing one resistance either chest piece or banner and then vice versa for uh the chest piece right so the the goal here is to hit those 330 plus for accuracy and resistance while keeping a good amount of speed or the right amount of speed and then also trying to have as much defense as possible as for the skills they are all done that is pretty easy and then here are the masteries that i decided to go with again just resistance accuracy as much as possible you have to almost use eagle eye or unshakable if you want to hit these amounts i have seen other players say she's really great with war master because she's going to counter attack when you get crowd control on your team therefore those will proc for war master that is great but i do not want that on my lydia because when i manual the doom tower floors I do not want to kill the minions until I reset my seer. I call this the turtle method where I just sit back and I do A1s and all those other champions except seer don't hit hard. So then I have plenty of time to reset my seer. Then I can go back into doing my full combo for wave number two and wave number three. But overall, this is it. Evil Eye is obviously pretty important. Uh, I also do not want any kind of refresh accessories on this champion. I do not want to screw up the rotation of my skills when I'm doing speed runs in the dungeons. Therefore, I think that this is the best setup, at least for my account as of right now. And finally, here's a quick recap of her build on my spreadsheets. Again, guys, this is all accessible online at any time. So if eventually you want to see how everything works on my account, it will all be listed in here. You will have a hyperlink on her name to click, which will bring you to the video itself. So if you've missed any of my previous builds, they will all be in here. So her speed 296, she's in my range, what I'm calling 277 to 296. I'll get back to that in a quick second because that is to properly speed tune for let's say uh spider and fire knight as well so you saw all the gear right here and finally uh the three importance of uh the use right in the order so dungeons doom tower and then arena and uh also i did hear other players saying perhaps in a shield set she's really great absolutely for the arena that would be fantastic i also think some players have said maybe you can give her bulwark to mitigate some of the damage on your cold hearts let's say on the fire knight dungeon so there is a a lot of different ways to build her here's how uh, it works let's say for my fire knight she needs to be fast enough to basically lap the fire knight so we can apply decrease defense and weaken and then the cold hearts can go into their heart seekers so the cold hearts also need to be um slow enough in a sense right so again the speed tuning will be really important it's not just about lydia it's about all the other champions same concept here with the spider so she's at 296 she goes first then bad alcazar then gurpta then at 169 speed septimus would go and then royal guard is there to finish off the spider at 168 if he's at 165 Lydia will lap him. I'm losing a couple seconds because I have one more animation of Lydia before I can get to the Royal Guard. So maybe these little things would make a difference to you. But basically what I'm saying is that you gotta be cautious on how you look at this list. It's not just one champion by itself. 
it's the whole package. Finally, here's my great haul in case you guys want to compare stats. Obviously, as you can see, my stats are almost maxed out. I have like literally four more to finish off before this is 100% complete. But there you have it, my updated 2021 build. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.